In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So, too, you also must be prepared. For an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and prudent servant whom the master has put in charge of his household to distribute to them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom the master on his arrival finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that wicked servant says to himself, My master is long delayed and begins to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The message today is to be prepared for we don't know when when we're called from this life. Um, and so, and also to live out our, our vocation. Um, that's what Jesus is emphasizing with his, uh, whether or not we are faithful and prudent stewards. Um, you know, God has given us each a vocation, and we're called to live out that vocation, to be faithful to that vocation. And if we are, vo- and, if we are and, and faithful to God, then we have nothing to worry about. But if we're not faithful to our vocation, if we're not faithful to God, then there will be consequences. Um, today we celebrate the feast day of St. Monica, the mother of St. Augustine. And in the Confession, St. Augustine writes about the last days of St. Monica. He said that he and his mother were standing there, looking out into the garden, reflecting and longing for heaven. St. Monica said she was ready to go. She doesn't know why she's still here. She said that the the only reason they kept her here was his conversion. And now that he is converted, she's ready to go to the Lord. And a few days later, uh, the Lord took her. And St. Augustine, too, was ready to go. They were completely detached from this world. They were longing for heaven. And so, what about us? Are we ready to go? Are we longing for heaven? Or are we still attached to this world? Um, You know, somebody asked St. Don Don Bosco one day what he would do if if the Lord was going to call him today, what he would do. And he answered, well, I would go to breakfast, and then I would go to work. I would go on with my day, meaning he wouldn't change anything. He was already ready. There's no regrets. There's nothing else that he needed to do. He's, he's doing, living out his vocation, ready whenever the Lord calls him. So we too need to ask ourselves, are we ready? Are we ready when, when God calls us? What if God calls us today? Are we ready? Well, maybe we should think. Maybe we need to be reconciled with the Lord. Maybe we need to be reconciled with others. Maybe we need to forgive. Um, whatever, right? So uh, let us be faith, faithful to our vocation. Uh, yeah, and also, um, you know, during this time also, a lot of people are coming back to the church. So that's one good thing that has come out of this pandemic is that a lot of people are coming back, that they do want to be reconciled with the Lord. They want to be prepared. So that's a good thing. So, um, so let us be prepared. Let us live out our vocation, be faithful to our vocation, and be faithful to the Lord. And, and not to speculate, you know, because also some people are fearful. They think it's the end of the world. And, and Jesus is saying, you don't know. Don't even speculate. So we don't want to live in fear or speculation, but to live in peace, to be faithful to our vocation and faithful to the Lord. And we'll be ready when he comes.